Good day YouTube, how are you doing today? I am the Trish Etkin and welcome to episode 41 of my DNS Tech Pack Let's Play. How are we all doing today? So last episode we were getting some nodes and I filled up the rest of them. As you can see I've got tons of nodes. And you can see my fancy wand is all filled up. All nice and jubbly, lovely and full. Nice 175. And that one's all nice and filled as well. And I've got a really good set of armour on. So this episode what i want to do well i want to do a few things but one thing i want a better bow this bow is good but it can't even one shot skeletons and stuff so yeah there's that i want it to be better and awesome and cool and better uh and the bow i want to use if i type in bow which i thought i had done i want the here is flux infused bow now, Flux Infused Bow comes from Redstone Arsenal, which is a thermal expansion add-on. Uh, and as you can see, it requires some fluxed electrum ingots, obsidian rods, and some string. Now, fluxed electrum, if we have a look here, is the flux electrum blend with some pyrothium dust. And to get the flux electrum blend, it's destabilized redstone with electrum blend. And electrum blend is silver and gold. So, does my thing already know how to make Electrum? Let's see. Elec it knows how to make Electrum ingots, which is good. But now I need to tell it how to make Electrum dust. Better be able to know how to make Electrum dust if I... Ah, no, it uses straight the ingots. Okay. So, let's make ingot. Um, let's sagmill an ingot. In me sagmill. So, now let's just take the bone up here. Oh, electrum. I'm going to tell it one electrum ingot, one electrum blend. And I'll go into El Sago Mill for space, or if I can find it, Sago Mill. Here we go. Now, uh, let's have a double check, see what it costs um, to make it. It's 200 millibuckets for each electrum blend. And I'm pretty sure it was one for 100. Yes, yeah, so I need two redstone. And one electrum blend. down here and let's make one of these bad boys up so in here we'll go the electrum blend and here we'll go the redstone one two and that should make me okay i must have missed that it should have made me the fluxed electrum it did nice so now i want to make more of that. Take that out. Come on. Come on. Okay, I'll get the redstone now. Redstone two. It's taking so long to pulverize up. Come on. Ah, you're completely backed up. Why are you backed up? Because you're not configured to do anything. Uh, you need to. You can output on top and bottom. Uh, let's just take you out for now. I didn't even realise that. Keep them there. That's where you're supposed to be. Right. Um, so that electron blend should be. It is. So it's one electron blend, two redstone, and a fluxed. Makes that. Two of those, one of those. Makes that. Cool. That goes down into the sky. Like that. 
Uh, does this need anything? No, I just blacklisted redstone and ender pearls. So that should work. That should get me some fluxed electron blend. Maybe one of those. Probably won't take that long. Yeah, didn't. Good. Next step. We then need to make it fluxed electrum ingot, which is one pyrothium and two fluxed electrum blend. So let's get some pyrothium. I've got one already. And it's one of these, two of these. Fluxed electrum blend. Let's go back downstairs into this. Uh, I've not upgraded this guy. I should really upgrade this induction smelter as well to the highest tier. I've got that. Just to make it go faster, really. And that should give me flux electron blend times two. Nice. And that'll go into the induction, no, induction smelter, that thing. Nice. Uh, was that already? That has to be. Next step. Now it knows how to make flux. Let's see, our obsidian rod, it's obsidian dust, and blaze powder. Now, does it know how to make obsidian dust? I don't even have obsidian. Uh, I should really make an obsidian generator. Just make a pile of obsidian. Which did I put obsidian in here by any chance? No. Nope. For chance, have any obsidian lying about? Hmm, is that an obsidian? Obsidian tile. Let's turn that into obsidian. here, learn, 39, let's grab a few stacks of intervals, and that gives us a few stacks of obsidian. I just need to tell it to make obsidian dust or of the likes in the sag mill. Okay, it makes four. Nice. I'll do. Uh, over here gives you one obsidian equals four obsidian dust. One, two, four. And put you in the sag mill. Whatever it is. Uh, next, I need to put that to full. Obsidian rod, it's blaze powder and the pulverized obsidian. That. those and the obsidian powder or dust whatever it is is that true I don't really need to um, have this auto crafted but you know <laughs> might as well so I should have enough but oh, I just need that obsidian thing obsidian rod Maybe one of those. Makes me a bow. String. Um, 
amount of tons of wool by now, so I should really just make a way to... Oh, wow, got no string coming out of... Oh, of course, I made this uh, fancy, so it's now only got really witches in it and magical creatures. Not many spiders come in there now. So I should make a way to change wool into string. I don't really know what the best way is for that, actually. Well, we'll see in a sec. Let's uh, just make myself a bow. Nice. So now I've got a better bow. But it's not that great just now. One, it's not enchanted. Two, it's, you know, it needs actual power as well. So we're going to have to set up a way for it to have power. So just like how my armor needs the mana tablet, this will need its own power supply as well. Which I'll probably use um, the resonant res... This thing down here, resonant flux capacitor, which I think needs all of them. So why don't I program in to my AE system all of the flux capacitors that are required all the way down. I think I have all the stuff necessary already auto craftable for it. I just need to do it. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. And I'm back and I've just plopped in the resonant flux capacitor. So let's make one flux capacitor resonant. Bush. Resident flux capacitor. You can see again, it's still empty. And there's a couple of blocks that'll help me charge it up. I don't think I've made any of them, have I? Let's go through here. No. Um, I can just throw it in here, like that, and that should start charging up pretty quickly. Which I think is what I'm going to do. And I can do the same with that uh, bow as well. Uh, why are you only filling up to 1M? 2M. All right, you're not. You're filling up faster than that. But let's put you in there as well. Let's just get it charged up. Um, now, it still does need arrows. It's not, uh, you know, uses electricity. It just uses electricity to throw the things. So do I have any arrows on me? Probably not. Uh, but I will be putting enchants on it. So let's get some... Not got very many arrows. But right now, it'll do about... Let's see doesn't actually tell me how much damage it'll do. It'll do a decent amount of damage, though, as it is like that. But if I push V, the standard thing, it is now powered. It uses the energy now, the electricity now, to do it. And it'll do a lot more damage like that. But it uses power. So, you know, what you want it for. Uh, so that's now charged up. But to have this actually useful, you have to have it on your hot bar activated. So now it'll keep anything I've got charged up in my inventory on the bar. Yes. How cool is that? That's perfect. Uh, but now I want to enchant this boat. Now I could go about and just enchant it normally like I've done the other bows on this bad boy. Throw it in here and I can put all the usual infinity, punch, power, and breaking la -di da stuff on it. Uh, but I think I want to start getting into the Thaumcraft enchanting. By Thaumcraft enchanting I mean the uh, enchanting from Tinkers, great, not Tinkers, Thomic Tinkerer. If I have a look in our Thomonomicon, down at the Thomic Tinkering tab, uh, and scroll down here, we've got a thing called an Osmotic Enchanter, and it uses the V instead of the other stuff. Now it requires quite a bit of stuff to get going. So uh, we need some of the Obsidian Tiles, we need an enchantment table as well, a couple of Thomium, and Spellbinding Cloth, which is Perdito, Permutatio, and Percantio with Enchanted Fabrics. That's not too hard to get. And as you can see around here, these are all the enchants that get added in to uh, the Osmotic Enchanter, all of these. And there is bow ones called Quick Draw, which is something I want to have as well. So why don't I kind of get everything prepared get all this stuff get this in you know get this ready to be uh, done and i will be right back because it's going to take a long time of boringness to do and i'm back and you see i'm at one of these thomcraft wisp spawner areas these are great to have because uh, they rec have a lot of the obsidian totems and obsidian tiles that are actually needed for the uh 
Polo's Mosmotic Enchanter. So not only do I need the five obsidian tiles for the in the actual Osmotic Enchanter, but for actually doing it, I need uh, six pillars of the uh, what are they? Tiles, not the tiles, the other one. Whatever they're called, the other ones that I said, totems. So why don't I just grab all of these here? I'm just going to pick up every single one of these obsidian tiles that are here and I'll go back and keep on going. See you a sec. And I'm back and I'm just finishing off my enchant for my uh, osmotic enchanter. As you see it's getting all the bits souked inside now. All lovely and jubbly. Two of those and my spellbinding cloth. The thing is with the spellbinding cloth it won't eat it all up. It'll use part of its endurance. It'll be like a durability of it. And is that? I don't know. Didn't make a noise, but fair enough. Osmotic Enchanter. Uh, and as we can see, the Spellbinding Cloth has just got some damage in it. Spellbinding Cloth's pretty cool in the way that what it does. Uh, it can actually rub any enchants off of what you're doing. So, uh, yeah, that's handy handy but uh, if you sort of like oh I don't like that enchant and just use that to get rid of it so let's go let's read the Thomonomicon again a wee bit about the Osmotic Enchanter. Uh, the Osmotic Enchanter needs six pillars in a nearby vicinity four blocks these p pillars need to be at the same level as the table so you know same level and these need to be made from from two to twelve obsidian totem blocks stacked on top of each other with a piece of nitor on top of it so I thought, why don't I just put it straight above my wand recharge? If I straight above, I mean just to the side here, to like this side here. So I'm going to put my table there. Yeah. And I'm going to get my totems. And it said it needed six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Of course, it doesn't matter if there's an extra one. Says it only draws from six, but you know, I'll put another one there down just for aesthetics. Because that's what we need, is aesthetics. And it needs to be from two to twelve high. So that'll do. Uh, actually no. That'll do. And nitor. Nitor, 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 nitor. Perfect. So that should, in fact, work. If I grab my, let's use the, uh, oh, I think I'll have to put the, put the crafting one inside. That'll be a bit better as well. Uh, small to enchanter. And let's come over and let's put in my bow. And you can see it gives me a whole list, let's get rid of that, of what it can be enchanted with. So obviously we want infinity. We want punch, we want, pu oh no, we want, we want quick draw or punch. Ooh, I didn't know you had to choose. Oh no, uh, uh, punch means more power, but quick draw is quick draw. Uh, and let's put on breaking. We don't want flame because we might want to use it for Enderman. Uh, what happens if we get rid of power? Nothing. I definitely want power though. Uh, and let's enchant it up. Definitely want quick draw. And you can see how much it costs each sort of V there. It says on it, it's 12 of each and you know so on and so forth. If we mouse over these it also tells us how much it costs of each. So if we have a look, Ordo costs 248. So if I put in my... that just made it all disappear, didn't it? Okay. Definitely one quick draw and whatnot. So let's do that again. Okay, now click start enchanting. And I'll quickly start drawing the V from my wand that's here. So you can see it's soaking it all out dry and starting to enchant it all. And you see all these tabs getting filled up with all the different ones. And obviously I don't have enough Ordo in one wand. Uh, so it's going to stop. But I can take that out and throw in another one. And it should be enough. Yeah, it is. So now I've got a pretty darn good uh, bow there. I would say that's pretty good. And obviously I can go put my this wand in this table, in this uh, charger. 
and go put my scepter back into this table. And it'll start charging that up. Extraordinarily quickly. Wow, that's that's going really quickly that. And you should already be finished as well. Yeah. Nice. So we've got a bow with infinity. Uh let's put that obsidian away. And quick draw, let's actually see how quick quick draw is. Yeah, I have to make some nitor. So this bow with quick draw, that's pretty quick. Enchant it, uh, empower it even. Let's go see, is it, it should be night time, isn't it? Is it night time? Not yet. There's no baddies to try it on. There's a chicken here, but that's not gonna really give me much. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, yeah, I'll wait till night time and then we can test it out on that. But while we wait for it to become night time, uh, why don't we get on to the next part of what I'm wanting to do, which is the wither. So I should be able to have a look and see how many wither skeletons I've got. Wither skulls. I have got 47 wither skeleton skulls, which is good and all, but it's not uh, very many. So we'll need to make a way to automate that, and we'll need a way to automate soul sand, which I think is actually quite hard. Um, soul sand. Look at it. Any way to automate it? I can duplicate it. There's not really a way to automate it, so to speak. There is a way. Obviously, you can conjure up soul sand that way. Uh, I could put a quarry in the nether, I suppose. Might do that. I might put a quarry in the nether just to kind of take up that bit of space. Um, but I want to make a building in my age there to where I can contain all of this. So why don't I think of a block, because certain blocks cannot be used with the focus warding. Like, I can't ward glass like that, but I can ward blocks. Uh, I do believe there's warded glass, but I think it was broken in this version of Thomcraft, so I don't want to use it. I tested it, I think, I, I think it was in this version I tested it. And it didn't work. Um, where's warded glass? Should be in the warded doors. Here it is, warded glass. But as I said, I think it's actually broken just now. I don't think it works personally. I can't remember, but I don't want to test. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to test it out, if you will. Um, but instead, let's think of a block which is really powerful as it is and looks cool. Uh, and I think there is. Uh, some really strong, just type in wither, see what we get. We do get some witherproof obsidian from Ender IO, but it requires dark steel, which is quite expensive to get. So we're not going to go for that. Uh, let's just go with some, what is blast? Let's type in blast, something to get blast proof. Um, nope. Okay, let me just go through a couple of things, guys, and see what I want to make it out, make the thing out of, and I'll be right back. And I'm back, guys. So I've decided I want to use marble in some sort of chisely fat, you know, formation at least anyway. Um, but I was going to put it in my mining age, but then I thought there's been a mod added in the last update, which it'll probably be the update before. By the time this goes out, it'll probably be an update or two maybe before that. But anyway, uh, called Compact Machines. So let's have a look at Compact Machines, shall we? And Compact Machines adds a few blocks here and there. Uh, let's actually go up to this and do it. And uh, Compact Machines adds a few bits and bobs. Hmm, don't know that. Uh, blocks here. As you can see, they've got sizes written on them. Tiny, small, normal, big, giant and maximum. I want the maximum, but it requires nether stars. Oh, that's so expensive. It's giant cost. It just costs diamonds, though. It's a maximum, though. Probably get that many nether stars. Uh, let's just get the giant one, because it's probably going to be enough. So I need these world resizing interfaces, which require all sorts of things. So these should be really programmed into my AE system <laughs> because they seem to be a lot of stuff. So I need an atom enlarging module, which is pistons, glass, and redstone. Do I have pistons? I don't have any pistons. Give me a 
piston please atom enlarging doohickey uh, I need an atom shrinking doohickey which is a sticky piston obviously which I also don't have make me that so that go into here like that and what else do I need for that giant world resizing cube? So just need those atom. One of those. One of those. To make me that. Which goes there. And make a world resizing do ticky. World resizing cube. Yay! Okay, now I've got that programmed in. To make myself one of those. Uh, make me one of those. World resizing cube. If I can type world resizing cube, make me one of those. Uh, any idea screwed. It is. Now, while that's crafting, or crafted, it's already crafted, let's put it down with a set of diamonds. compact machine. I also need to have a uh, where is it? Here it is. Personal shrinking device. I need to craft myself one of these. So I need another two world resizing interfaces. World resizing interface. Give me two of those. At least they don't cost much to make. Personal shrinking device. Let's get that. That. Uh, I think I think actually that might be everything. Uh, I think so. I don't know what this does. Uh, whatever it is, it's very expensive. So why don't we place this down somewhere? It doesn't matter really where it goes. Uh, so I'm going to put it in my wall here actually. So I'm going to put it right there like that. And I'm going to right click it with my block. And here I am in my machine, my compact machine. I am inside my cube, basically. That cube that is there, I've shrunk down and I'm inside it. Uh, and you can see there's even these interface things here. These interact with the outside of the world too. So if I want to get out, I would just shift right click my device and I will be out. Of course, I don't really want to do that. And I'm pretty sure these things are unbreakable. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, which is good and all, but I want to have at least some access to this thing. So I'll probably have access to the bottom. So I'm going to make a bit of a marble floor at some position or other. So let's see, what kind of floor do I want? I'll probably have a design of some sort. Uh, let's make part of it this. So I want enough space in here to walk in normally. So I'm going to put the floor like, yeah, let's just put the floor up here. Uh, let's get my wand out. Get some more of that stuff. Pretty sure it's that one. Ah, no, don't do that. And I'll probably have an elevator or something somewhere here. So this is where I'd have all this. And I'll have it uh, probably all warded as well. Apart from one block to where I'll have the... Um, uh, one block for an elevator to get down and up. So 
So why don't I finish this, guys, and I'll be right back. And I'm back, but unfortunately we've hit the wrapping up point for today's episode. We've hit that sort of 30 minute mark. As you see, I have completely warded this whole bit here. Uh, we've got a cool bow which is infused with its quick draw, and it's, you know, it's really good. Yeah, it's got infinity, so it's even better. Uh, we've got ourselves a personal shrinking device, and we're inside a block. And we've got a nice wee flow here, which is completely unbreakable. Hopefully. And I'm pretty sure the walls are completely unbreakable as well. They don't have destruction values or anything as well. So I'm going to have to maybe wall this area off a wee bit as well. I'll make a bit here. I might try in a single player world just to test to see if that uh, glass from Thomcraft has been fixed or not. If it hasn't, I'll use something else. Um, as a cool... And anyway, this is the Treasure Can signing off episode 41. Have fun!